love to introduce our next speaker, uh, Klaus Sewellek, who is the uh, new business development and innovation management lead at Johnson & Johnson Innovative Medicine. And um, we're going to be talking about men's health, improving prostate cancer prevention, and overcoming compliance challenges in men. But before we jump into that, um, Klaus, welcome. And would you like to share a little additional background before we jump into the questions? Yes, absolutely. Um, so I'm, I'm not an expert in, in, in uh, oncology and, and specifically in the field of, um, of, 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 uh, um, of, of prostate cancer. Uh, I'm a pharmacologist by training and uh, I've been working in the pharmaceutical industry for more than 30 years now. And um, as an innovation manager at Johnson & Johnson Innovative Medicines, in, in, um, I've been responsible for digital health solutions. And um, from this angle, um, and especially um, for the German market, and we recently analyzed the potential of uh, digital health solutions uh, in, oncolo in oncology and uh, specifically in the field of urology and um, there in prostate can cancer. So we uh, classically started with the patient pathway when we um, looked at um, the opportunities we have to, um, and we found several leverage or pain points where we could possibly um, um, yeah, improve the situation for the patient and finally for the outcome uh, of the patient. So we went uh, through all of the elements of uh, um, the pathway from healthy prevention to presentation, diagnosis, treatment, um, initiation and treatment con continuation and finally rehabilitation. And um, uh, what we found were three major areas um, uh, for optimization, especially in this field of of um, uh, prostate cancer. First of all, in the treatment um, management, we found that there is a um, lack of psycho-oncological support. So that's something um, uh, that is not available um, in, in uh, that much in, in Germany uh, uh, specifically. And uh, this must be true for other uh, markets as well, I think. And um, this is one point where we uh, closely looked at then um, treatment initi initiation is um, where uh, we found a lack of information on various um, of the ever evolving and new treatments um, options um, uh, so that uh, decision support for doctors was um, often um, uh, difficult and um, uh, this was an, another pain point um, for, for especially especially for the doctors and um, finally we found that um, uh, and I think that was the most important challenge, um, the lack of awareness um, of prevention, regular checkups, um, better lifestyle and, and, and um, the, the, the problem of late presenters in this indication, specifically in, 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 um, in prostate cancer. And, and I know what I'm talking about because my father died from from prostate cancer mm -hmm. um, uh, 25 years ago and he he when he presented himself to a doctor it was already uh, much too late and that's why I, I i was very interested in this topic um and and i think um in order to prevent um something like this it's extremely uh, important um uh, to address that communication is key in this field. Um, you have to um, reach the males <laughs> uh, where they are present, um, the earlier the better, um, being it in school and universities, in the workplace or in community and uh, sports clubs, sports events, and in social media. And that's so important to, to, to choose the right channels to, to get access to men at they're at the point where they are um, open for for um, this communication, and um, and that's uh, one important point. Second point is who should do this? Not only doctors; uh, they are important as well. But um, advocacy groups can help here. Um, patient survivors uh, can help here, and uh, influencers, role models, for example, sports guys who, who are uh, famous in this area, 
and um, and you need a focused communication then f um, in, in social media tailor made for men um, uh, because um, they they are so yeah um, reluctant um, to to uh, go to the doctor for for preventive um, uh, uh, care and so on. So that's um, the first thing I wanted to share here, and um, and I think um, it's ever important to encourage men to participate in in regular screenings because they don't do. Um, that's uh, completely different to women who are very. Um, yeah, um, compliant um, um, with their doctors' um, meetings, and and but men are um, are, um, are, are do, not doing this, and and therefore um, this has to be changed. And there, we have, we have been working on this uh, very much and um, developed um, solutions around it. And I will share um, a bit on this uh, later on. Mm -hmm. Well, I um, first, you know, I. I'm so sorry about your father, but I, it's 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 easy to see the inspiration and in the yeah. for what you do, and if there's a blessing in that, that you know that that's clear here, and I think this is a really interesting space too from the standpoint of you can't leverage the innovation of the treatment un until you've created the awareness and overcome the stigma and fear, Absolutely. and it's this combination of of science, technology, but also the human experience that you need to bring forward. Um, can you talk a little bit about how you're doing that as, uh, in your role or at J&J? &J? Yeah, uh, for example, um, what we developed was, uh, was um, um, yeah, an initiative uh, for um, innovation and, and information, especially around prostate cancer um, that was, uh, or that is called Your Man Coverage. Um, that's an initiative that is located in this a field of sports, um, uh, especially of soccer. You you might know that um, uh, soccer is very famous in Germany, especially now where where the European uh, um, soccer uh, uh, con competition is running. Um, and and we try to um, develop a, um, a project where um, these soccer plays a big role, um, uh, so that. Um, uh, it appeals to men that are um, uh, in the field of uh, sports, interested in the field of sports, and brings the information closely uh, to them. Um, this was uh, done in partnership with uh, soccer clubs and close to the pay, uh, to, to the potential uh, um, uh, um, people of interest. Um, urologists were in, included, uh, urologists in associations and local doctors as well. So um, the information has to be brought closely to the people um, uh, and in the right uh, way of um, uh, um, yeah, the, the, the educational approach is important, but on the other hand, um, you, you must um, yeah, get them their hearts um, to 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 um, manage uh, um, that they are going um, to participate in in regular screenings uh, because that's what what helps here uh, to bring uh, people earlier to the doctor and uh, to get um, the patients um, earlier and um, not in a late stage. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, um, thank you so much. I know we didn't have a lot of time, but I, I feel like you really gave a good perspective and background on all the work that you're doing in this space in a in a very you know very common uh, cancer that can be treated if caught early enough. So, um, Klaus, thank you so much, and have a wonderful afternoon. And really appreciate you sharing. Thank you.